Have you ever pondered the consequences of attempting a leap in the boundless expanse of outer space? It's a thought-provoking concept, isn't it? Envision the unencumbered liberty of executing a jump without any force exerting its pull, anchoring you back to a surface. However, this is precisely the circumstance you confront when undertaking a jump in the cosmic void. It is here that the fundamental principles of physics, specifically Newton's third law, become crucially relevant. This law states that every action has an equal and opposite reaction. Yet, what transpires when is an absence of a terrestrial surface to furnish that reaction. You indeed in the vast, interminable stretch outer space. There's a lack of gravitational force to tether you. Under these conditions, the act of jumping would merely propel you inversely, casting off into the cosmic vacuum. Lacking any counteracting force, this motion would persist, causing you to drift aimlessly until another force, perhaps the propulsion of a spacecraft or the gravity of a proximate celestial body, intervenes. Hence, in the weightless environment of space, absent of gravitational pull, a jump does not terminate with a return descent to a solid ground. So, how does jumping in space actually work? Well, it's all about the laws of motion, especially Newton's first law, which states that an object in motion stays in motion unless acted upon by an external force. In the case of jumping on Earth, when you push off the ground, you're met with an opposing force, gravity, that pulls you back down. But in space, there's no gravity to stop you once you start moving. So, if an astronaut were to jump in space, they would essentially be pushing off from a surface and would continue moving in the direction of that push indefinitely. There's nothing to stop them or slow them down. It's like being on an endless ice rink where one push can send you gliding forever. In essence, in space, a jump isn't a jump, but rather a push in a new direction with no end in sight. While jumping in space might sound like fun, it's actually quite risky. Just imagine, one wrong push off and you could find yourself drifting into the endless void of space. Without a force to stop you, you would continue to float away indefinitely. This is the absolute isolation that space offers. Let's say you're lucky and you don't drift away. But what if you collide with your spacecraft? The force of your jump could send you hurtling towards it at such a speed that the impact could be catastrophic. You might damage the spacecraft or even injure yourself. Understanding the physics of space is therefore crucial before attempting any kind of motion. There's no jumping, running, or even walking in space as we know it. Every action requires careful calculation and precision. So next time you think about jumping in space, remember it's not as simple as it sounds, and it's certainly not as it is in the movies.